it's Saturday uh, I thought I'd uh, continue on from uh, last week when I uh, ended up at Palm Bay so I'm just cycling uh, from sort of like Cliftonville end into Margate yeah just along from uh, I've just uh, come along from uh, Palm Bay and I'm, I'm here which I think is uh, Walpole Bay uh, unfortunately my geography skills are almost as good as my verbal ones but uh, as you can see so it's still a traditional little seaside area there's still one or two hotels uh, notably the Walpole Bay that offer you know somewhere decent for people to stay something to do for the older people uh, you've got uh, the indoor bowl centre one of the interesting features is the uh, is the Walpole Bay lift now I assume that us in uh, Margate, Cliftonville, whatever, don't get quite as emotional as other people about their lifts because uh, it always seems a big feature of Ramsgate life, the lift at East Cliff or something and uh, Broadstairs people often seem to get excited about their lift. I don't know whether they work these days or not. A, a little bit further along the, uh, you know, Margate's uh, Eastern Esplanade and uh, where I am here is opposite the uh, bandstand and uh, just, just over here is uh, where there used to be uh, a Butlins Hotel which in latter years uh, I think hosted uh, dolphins in their natural swimming pool environment uh, but anyway I think we've got to recognise things have changed and as, as you can appreciate there's still nice places to stay here, still nice hotels but obviously uh, the, you know the demographics I think that's the word all changed and uh, the bandstand here seems a bit of a throwback to an earlier age uh, now you know, it looks like I spent money on renovating this recently, but uh, I've not actually heard of anything actually being performed here. Uh, also, they seem to, seem to be half assed because uh, you look along, uh, along the path and uh, you notice they've got all these lamps that they, they've even painted, I think, in re you know, maybe in the last couple of years, but uh, unfortunately they, don't afford, they can't afford to put uh, anything on top of the lamps or light them. So, uh, I just wonder, you know, they spent money on this. Maybe someone needs to put a bit of brain power into this and uh, think of a use for it. Yeah, I'm just cycling away from the uh, from, from the bandstand here, but uh, just as I come past, I notice this is typical, typifies, uh, you know, the planning around here. Uh, it looks like, you know, that uh, maybe, certainly I would think in the last 10 years, someone spent a lot of money on uh, putting new public toilets here or clean, you know, and uh, are they open? It's a bank holiday weekend, remember? Uh, of course they're not, uh, but, uh, you know, presumably the money's run out, they've got plenty of money for advertising, they've got plenty of money for all kinds of shenanigans, but uh, if you want to have a leak, uh, just here is not the place unless you want to be arrested. Anyway, I'll continue. I've now found myself uh, over by the Lido uh, and uh, it's a significant part of Margate I think uh, it's something a place people will remember as a place of entertainment myself I used to go to a nightclub uh, uh, quite a lot uh, 30 years ago Hades uh, which was very good in its time uh, where I drank copious amounts of lager this this is an area that's uh, more car park than a place of entertainment now obviously and uh, I mean we can't live in the past uh, this this probably is not viable some entertainment facility uh, and uh, we can only just hope that uh, we don't have more granny flats put here but something you know I mean presumably flats will be built here or apartments and uh, let's hope they're uh, in keeping and actually enhance the area rather than detract so uh, Margate changes but uh, let's hope it doesn't change too badly